mild heartburn after a spicy meal? Most of us just consider that the price of entry for people who like a little heat with their food. But if you're experiencing heartburn, nausea, regurgitation, or pain on a daily basis, especially if it persists after managing your diet, you might have something called GERD, or gastroesophageal reflux disease. When it comes to heartburn, there's a bit of a sliding scale on the far end of the scale, and we're talking five or more years of steady heartburn and discomfort when lying down after eating comes the potential for a condition called Barrett's esophagus. With Barrett's esophagus, the normal tissue lining in your esophagus changes into cells that are not normal. This change in the tissue lining puts you at risk of developing esophageal cancer, which is cancer in the tube that connects your mouth to your stomach. Approximately 5 to 15% of people with GERD are at risk for developing Barrett's esophagus, but the condition can still happen even without a history of acid reflux. Screening may be recommended if you have GERD symptoms on a weekly basis and have two or more of the following risk factors, such as being a current or past smoker, being a white male over the age of 55, or having a family history of Barrett's esophagus. Getting an endoscopy and a biopsy is the only way to find out if you have Barrett's esophagus. To perform an endoscopy, your gastroenterologist inserts a long, flexible tube with a camera down your throat and into the esophagus. Most often, this procedure is done with sedation, so most patients do not find it uncomfortable. Most people have little or no problem with it. Once the tube is inserted, your doctor can look at the lining of your esophagus. If your doctor sees signs of Barrett's esophagus, they will remove a small sample of tissue to be looked at under a microscope in the laboratory to confirm a diagnosis. If you are diagnosed with Barrett's esophagus, it's recommended that you have regular checkups with your gastroenterologist to ensure the condition does not lead to other health problems down the road, such as esophageal cancer, a rare but serious concern. Barrett's esophagus alone often does not show any symptoms beyond those associated with GERD. So it's important to talk to your doctor regularly about your GERD symptoms and any over-the-counter medications you may be taking. If you have been diagnosed with GERD and think you may be at risk for developing Barrett's esophagus, make an appointment with a gastroenterologist to talk about your screening and treatment options. Visit patient.gastro.org to learn more.